One of my favorite things about OneNote is its search feature. And one day recently, I logged on to OneNote and my search button was gone. I didn't know what to do. Stay with me and I'll show you what I did. Hi everyone, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today I want to talk to you about one of the features of OneNote that really, really simplifies my life, and that is the search button. Well, you can imagine how surprised I was when I logged on uh, to OneNote one morning and my search button, which is usually at the top of the page, was gone. Had a little heart attack, had a little freak out, everything's okay. I found it, and today I want to show you what they've done to the search button. All right, uh, if that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already, and turn your notification bells all the way on so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And if you like this content and you know somebody else who's trying to get organized or wants to use OneNote, please share this video with them. All right, with all that out of the way, let's get started. Well, as you can see here on my screen, I just have a beautiful purple cloud uh, background and the title of my page today is No More Search because I really, really was terrified. I love, love, love the search feature and on OneNote a few months ago, for me, the search feature was all the way at the end of all of these tabs and there was a little button that said search right there. Well, suddenly it disappeared and I thought to myself, what am I going to do now? Um, and then I realized that Microsoft has their uh, search button up here at the top and it says just start typing to bring features to your fingertips and get help. Now, I have used this search feature from Microsoft before for things like if I want to hide the authors. Remember, I share notebooks with lots of people. So, I, you know, you always will see the line on the side with who added this and who added that. That distracts me, so I want to get rid of that. So often I will go up here, rather than trying to remember where hide authors uh, is located, I will just type it in the search and find it that way, okay? So I know that the Microsoft search works well. Like if I want to, for example, do hide authors. Uh, I start typing the word hide. There is ribbon, authors, hide title page or page title, all that stuff. And then you can also go down here and search in your sticky notes if you're somebody who uses sticky notes, okay? So I can just type hide authors and it will turn that feature on, okay? Uh, and the authors will be hidden at that point. So it won't show, you know, CR for something I made, MR for something my husband did, something like that, okay? So that's great. But what I wanted to be able to do is find things in my notebooks because as you know, if, I, if you look over here in my notebooks, I have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of notebooks and I keep lots of notes in OneNote because it is my life management tool. But if I want to look up something, say for the cats, okay, and I go up here into this search bar and type cats, okay, it comes up and just says, well, there's no action for cats. Do you want to find it in your sticky notes or, you know, do you want to get help on where cats are? And that's not what I'm looking for. What I want is to find all of those pages or those sections in my notebooks where I have cats, okay? When I first did this, there was a drop down menu on this screen that said, find in your notebooks. Since I decided to do the video, that feature is now gone on my particular version of OneNote, but it might still be available on your version of OneNote. So when I went up here to this search bar and I would type cats, see right here where it says find sticky notes, there was another little box that said find in your notebooks, all right? What they've done now is they've replaced 
that old search button that used to be at the end of all these sections. And now there's this floating search button that just kind of hangs over the top of your page. And if it says, it says search notebooks. So here, if I type in cats, okay, you can see that the word cats appears in lots and lots of different places in my notebooks. So if you look here, it says recent picks. These were things that I used recently. Uh, and that's the page title that you see there. Right next to that page title is the notebook where that is located. So if you take a quick glance down here at all the things that I have searched, my book journal has something about cats. My notebook in the sticker section has something about cats. Uh, my 2024 planner, 23 planner, my book journal again, my personal notebook again, 2021, and so on and so on. And I can scroll down where the word cats appears on a page. And you see how many times I have the word cat because I am a cat owner lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of times okay now the nice thing is is that you can click on one of these pages okay and go see what that page is about but you don't lose all of your search features is this the page i was looking for no click on the next one is this the page i was looking for yes okay so I love that fact about the uh, search feature that you don't actually lose your search results. You can just keep them right here. Uh, you know, it kind of hovers on top and then you can jump to those different pages and see the one that you're looking for. Okay. I think that's great. Uh, let's see. Another thing that I want to tell you about the search feature um, is that you can have different options. So you'll notice that there's a little drop down menu here. And that drop down menu says, find that word on this particular page. Let's say you have a big page that has lots and lots of information on it. And you might be looking for, you know, maybe it's your travel plan page for an upcoming summer vacation. And you're just looking for the word hotel, okay, on that page. Because you know you've got all your stuff in one page, you just can't find it, okay. So you can search just on that one page. You can search in just a section. Right, so I could just look up here in months or student notes or math or something like that. I could look in a section group, meaning if you're somebody who nests your section, so you might have a folder that says math, right, if you're a teacher, and then underneath of math, you have subsections for each chapter that you're teaching from your book. Okay, so you might want to be able to see, search that whole section group, okay, or you can search this whole notebook. What I tend to default to is all notebooks because I find that sometimes if I'm on my phone and I save something in quick notes or if I'm on a, you know, my iPad or something, I may not make sure that that page gets exactly where it needs to be, but the search feature will let me find it if I'm searching all of my notebooks that are open. Okay. All right. And then you can set the default scope here. So, all notebooks, if that's what I want as my default, I can click set default uh, scope as default, and there it is. So every time I open this, it will search all notebooks. If I wanted it to change it to this section, okay, I could then say this section set as default, and then every time I went to type something or search something, you see it would search in this section only, okay? So that just is it's kind of convenient. I'm going to say all notebooks because that's what I like. All right. Now, um, so I think that's great. The one thing that I do not like is that the search button is sitting on the top of every page that I look at. Okay. I would like it much better if it were up here next to help, or I would like it much better if it were back here at the end of the sections. I do not like it floating on my pages. You've never heard me say anything negative about OneNote. But now I am. <laughs> that search button is in the way and I do not like it. Uh, and there's no way to move it. I can't grab it and move it. I can't, you know, highlight it. There's no option to place it somewhere else. This search button is just driving me crazy. So I decided to make a video about it in case it's driving you crazy too. Now, you can do something about this big Microsoft search button. And I want to tell you about that. 
okay? If you don't like this big search button up here at the top, maybe it's distracting, maybe it's taking up too much space, I don't know, you can move it or drop it down. You can make it less, you know, obvious. You can make it just a magnifying glass. Let me show you how to do that. Let's go over here to file. Let's go down to options. And under options, under general, general options, there is an option that says collapse the Microsoft search box by default. Okay. And if you click on that little eye, that little information, it says collapse the Microsoft search box by default. Only the search icon will show on the application header to access Microsoft search, click the search icon. So if I click that and say, okay, that box is now gone. And I have a little search button over here next to my account information. Okay. All right. Now, if I wanted to search something again, like hide authors, I could simply go up here and type in, touch the search button. It opens up and then I can do hide authors again. Okay. All right. Um, but other than that, when you click, you know, the close of that search button, it goes back to this little uh, magnifying glass icon over here on the top. Okay. I would even be happier if they left this search your notebooks option under here like it used to be, right? So that you could have a little section there and then when you clicked on it, it would go away, okay? I don't know why it is there, but it is driving me nuts, all right? Now, there is an option to share feedback with uh, Microsoft about OneNote. That's that little button right here under the X. And when you click on that, it opens up an email for you to send them information. And guess what I'm doing after I finish this video? You got it. I'm going to send them uh, an email about this floating search bar and make some recommendations as to placement for that search bar on the page. I don't know why they moved it from the end of these sections. I don't know if it was because they wanted people to have more sections available. Like I have a bunch of sections here. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, my recommendation would be to put it back in this little search panel, uh, if that's what they want to do, but I do not like it floating above on every single page because then every page that I go to, no matter what it is, no matter whether it's got, you know, stuff on it or not, um, you know, it's there and I don't like that. Okay. So. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Are you as upset about this search button as I am? Have you not noticed that your search button is moving yet? Um, you know, what version of OneNote are you using and is your search working okay? Because the thing that I love most about OneNote is its searching capability. I can go in here and type, you know, anything. Um, quilts, look at all of the quilt information that I have because I am a quilter. Look at all of the quilt information that I have, okay? And to be able to find this without using the search feature would be a nightmare. It even shows my deleted uh, notes down here at the bottom, okay? Uh, here's a very old page on the history of the Drunkard's Path pattern. Uh, you know, so it's just amazing what you can find uh, when you look back and you search on a particular word. Okay. This is also, and this is a different subject, but this is also why I think OneNote is so valuable for teachers, for students, for, you know, ministers or anybody that's writing a book, uh, any authors that are researching things. I may not remember that I did this research on the drunkard's path back in 2015, 10 years ago, okay? But if I were to be writing a story or an article and I was thinking about using the drunkard's path, there it is, I would have never known. So you could just go in to all of the notes that you've accumulated over the years, uh, type in a search and find information on that. All of those links are just so amazing to me. Anyway, I digress, I'll leave it there. Search. It's important for me. I'm sure it's important for you. 
And I just wanted to tell you what OneNote's done with our search button today. Anyway, thanks for joining me today and listening to my little rant about search. Uh, there are workarounds for it, but I really, I just don't like it sitting on my page. <laughs> I know, I'm very particular about things. But anyway, uh, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys. And until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote, even with its new search button. Okay, until next time. Bye.